Hi, I'm Bart Stan with the University of Wyoming Extension Range Team. Today we're going to be talking for a few minutes about drought and how plants respond to it. Land managers and extension educators talk about the importance of developing management plans, including drought plans. Drought plans should include what to do before, during, and after a drought. Have you thought about how plants respond after a year or several years of drought? Hopefully you have, and you've incorporated it into your drought management plan. If you haven't, now is the time to learn and to consider integrating some of the following information into your drought management plan. It's important to understand the condition and management of rangelands before and during drought will influence how plants will respond following drought. There are a number of variables that influence post-drought plant response. For example, adequate residual plant cover helps to facilitate infiltration of precipitation by minimizing loss of moisture to evaporation. Drought causes the reduction of cell wall division and slows the production of chlorophyll, which is critical for photosynthesis. Transpiration and photosynthesis slow, which impacts shoot growth, or the leaves. Shoot growth is also influenced by the below ground biomass, or the roots of a plant, and their ability to access soil moisture. Seed head production and tillering could be reduced during a drought. Plants use existing carbohydrates they've stored in their roots and crowns to survive a drought. Given too long of a drought, plants can die. Plant response post-drought is influenced by the severity and duration of a drought. Some research out of Fort Keogh, Montana shows that droughts of one year may have very little impact on forage production in following years. If there is a one-year drought, the impacts to plants will likely be minimal. Additional research showed that it may take three or more years of consecutive drought to show a carryover of decreased tillery. Plants that survive a severe drought can trick us into thinking that the range has recovered. How do they do this? If plant mortality occurs, there is less competition among plants for moisture and nutrients, which can result in above average plant heights and a mass of seed stock production. However, overall forage production is likely less than an average year due to fewer plants grow. You should carefully consider and plan how you will graze the first year post drought regardless of the severity and duration of the drought. One of your management goals the first year should be to facilitate plant growth and vigor and to leave adequate residual cover to feed back into the process. There are several tools to use to monitor drought in your area. Snow-till reports provide data on snowpack levels. These will be important for irrigated lands and water for livestock. Snowpack levels can change rapidly this time of year depending on temperatures and spring snowstorms. So it is critical that you carefully monitor snowpack and precipitation levels in your area. Snowpack levels have little impact on dry land forage production. For range pastures, pay close attention to timing of precipitation for rangeland forage production. The Wyoming State Climate Office is a good source for precipitation data throughout the state. The University of Wyoming Extension Range Team wrote an article earlier this year that talked about critical spring dates and what to do. The critical dates, April 1, May 1, and June 1, correlate with the amount and timing of precipitation, the type of plants that grow in our arid and semi-arid climate, and determining the capacity of the rangeland in terms of stocking rate. Most producers will need to balance their livestock's use of both irrigated and dryland forage to meet their nutritional needs in a sustainable and profitable fashion. Monitoring both snowpack and the timing and amount of rainfall will help you estimate your forage base for the coming year. Remember, here in Wyoming, no matter what kind of year we're having this year, someday we're going to have another drought, and it's wise to include that in your calculations. This has been Barton Stan with the University of Wyoming Extension Range Team.